when you open yourself to the possibility of the many things we can all do in life and our potential and the various wonderful pursuits that are out there and how intriguing, captivating they are. But you have to be very careful not to get caught in a circle and never really achieving anything. Because like I said, there is so much out there. There is so much color and beauty and dancing motion, but we all have a limit, not a limit that is fixed or is defined, one that can constantly grow and change, but it's easier than you think to overdo it and especially once you go down this realm and choose this path you can get confused quite easily and so i'm going to give you a few examples quickly a lot of people start going to the gym and then because of that they start consuming content related to the gym and then there's so many things you can do you can get a bigger bench press or you can grow a bigger chest or you can learn to do a muscle up there's so many things you know and it just is like eye candy uh, you know so someone may may not have all of that and go for all of it or flip-flop or go for one-to-one -one. and although it's great you're making that sort of choice to better yourself and to take on a pursuit that is much better than the other ones that are offered to you today. You aren't conducting your business in a way that can help you reach your potential because you're bobbling all over the place instead of harnessing, cultivating and focusing not just on one thing, but an area. Okay, and this is where we broaden the view to more than just something simple like the gym. And this really applies to all of your pursuits, whatever they are. Now, sometimes these can feed into each other and other times these are completely separate things and they can detract from one another. Or they can be in the same area but they can be different things and therefore it can also do the same thing where it detracts you. This is where you have to follow the same boring basic advice, but it's boring basic advice for a reason. You need to keep things simple, okay? You know, we all start somewhere, and for some people you can't do too much at once. Slowly though, you'll be able to do more. And the way to figure this out really is quite simple. You know, I remember when I started changing and went on a journey of growth how little it took for me to be you know shattered you know i used to just go to the gym and that was it and eat a bit healthier and then that would take up all of my effort after a while though it gets it gets familiar it gets you know it's like muscle memory and once you've got something that is muscle memory then you've got room for just a little bit more so in this example i you know focused even more on my diet and then after that i then really really delved into my training and then after that i decided i wanted to address all of my issues with my mental health so then i started looking into that and then it goes further and further and further you know so that's how you can simply go and sometimes we have our egos and sometimes they're healthy egos aren't a black and white bad thing you know you say the word ego and it's quite it brings up connotations of just arrogance and negativity but we have what's called a healthy ego and that's in a sense of wishing to push yourself and thinking you can take on more but obviously it can go too far now i do think most people's problems are that they you know they're so negative that they wouldn't, you know, wouldn't even think they could go for a 10 minute walk. But you can 
open Pandora's box, so to speak, once you make some quite easy gains in the sense of growth, not just muscle growth, but you know, fixing your life or becoming better and being on a spiritual journey and all of that. You can make some rapid fire gains and it goes to your head. I mean, it might not go to everyone's head. It certainly went to my head and um, it makes you develop an ego. It makes you take on loads and loads and loads and loads. And then two things happen or both. You spin around in circles, not really actually making any concrete progress anywhere or and or you stress yourself out and then you burn yourself to a crisp and you don't want to have anything to do with it. Now, I am someone who gets burnt out from time to time and it I've always found it's my own fault, it's from doing too much. Now, I have ADHD, not that I think it's a condition, so to speak, but I do have a tendency to do lots and lots of things and want to be constantly doing things and I have more energy than most people, but there gets to a point where suddenly, boom, flat, exhausted. Okay, and that's something I've learnt, something I work with, and something that improves, okay? But otherwise, more normal people, um, they might go through this process more slowly, it might not be cycles, I don't know. I wasn't ever normal. <laughs> I don't think really anyone is anyway, but besides the point. Each time this does happen, because it will happen to anyone who who takes on this sort of calling in the sense of, you know, really wishing to put the, push the boat out. No one's going to do it perfectly. I certainly haven't. I think this is a good thing, but I look back constantly. Even to a few months ago, I'm like, I'm an idiot, you know, I was doing this wrong, this perspective was wrong, or this mindset, you know, you that's where you want to be. And it's so taking these things on board when you push yourself too far, and okay, okay, I know what that looks like now. And don't have to even really take a lot away in the sense of when you go too far, if you're quite good at spotting it. Obviously, you know, it could be catastrophic and you need to take a lot back, but after the first couple of times that happens, you um, you become quite quickly at spotting the signs. I know I certainly have. I've gone from, you know, just snap, suddenly in complete, utter burnout, exhaustion, to now, you know, now I spot all the warning signs. And each time it's just a lesson, okay, what pushed me over the edge? What am I doing? What am I not doing? And then take a little bit back and go forward each time more and more and more and more. And maybe we're going quite far out from the topic, although I still think it's related, but this is a lesson to apply anywhere, is that so many things are seen as bad when they're just good things. So, for example, you know, this is part of the reason I'm making this video. I'm, you know, I'd say I'm quite tired and even, you know, approaching burnout right now. But it's not a bad thing. Even, you know, I'm not some master, but I've been doing this for two years now and it still even happens now. But the, the burnout I'm potentially facing now is nothing compared to the many other ones I've dealt with and I get nothing but improvements from it. So that's that side of it, you know, the when you do go too far. But refining the process, okay, and refining the process with what it is your standards, what are the things you need to do, this again like most things, it's very simple. You must be doing things you want to do. That is rule number one. It must be something you want to do. Now, sometimes we can get inspiration. Inspiration is healthy. But I've realised recently because I've taken a big step back from content for a while anyway. But I've really stripped it back now 
to the bare minimum. I read books. I don't really watch other people's content anymore. And I'm really, you know, I'm really raw dogging it. I'm going by my own feel rather than just listening to other people because it gets to a point where you have to go your own way. Trust your own wisdom. You know, I'm a grown man. Okay, I can't be still. It's okay to seek help from others. It's okay to get advice. There's nothing wrong with that. But there gets to a point where you have go do it. You've got to be on your own. And you realise how many things are input into you and how many ideas that sort of they just keep flowing and then you think you want them. But then when you take a step back, you don't, you know. So for me, for example, you know, with the gym, you know, I've never really even got close, but still, we really like not bothering with watching other people's stuff. I now really just do the stuff I like. I mean, I'm, oh yeah, I love working out, but, you know, I love working out massively, but in terms of, like, my goal, other than health, is size, and because I don't bother with what other people think, and I'm relying more on my own knowledge, because I've been doing this for two years now, um, I'm, I'm changing stuff less, I'm enjoying my workouts more, I do movements I actually like, I have less much problems in terms of plateaus and things like that, all because, you know, I've said that's that now, I'm going to go do my thing. And that's what is the most important thing with all of these things you can possibly do, all of these pursuits and paths you can go down. You can become a bodybuilder, you can become a powerlifter, you can become a gymnast, a calisthenics athlete, you can become a business man, <laughs> or however many things there are out there, you know, maybe not articulating well, but you get the point, okay, is there is so much noise, there's so many things, and you've got to, you've really got to pick your few, and at first you're not going to be able to do a lot. Okay, even nowadays I still don't do a lot. I go to the gym, I eat very healthily, I um, I make content, have a band, I write books. That's kind of it. <laughs> you know, I I you know, this is why, like I said, I'm approaching approaching burnout. I'm not burnt out, at least I don't think so. Cause I realise I don't have room for anything more, you know. I go to a shitty day job that unfortunately takes away from everything else and, you know, I realise I put way too much effort into that and it detracts from my other stuff. When I know the other things I do are far more important, you can't force yourself to care about something you don't care about. That may seem simple, but people don't get that and sometimes you know there's examples you know I hate going to the gym to the first but I know I needed to go but then I eventually liked it blah 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 sometimes you have to force yourself to do hard things da 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 but like six months down the line if you still hate this shit there's no point you know I'm not successful I don't have money but you know I see all these you know people I used to watch and they encourage you or oh, just get into business and you know do do an agency company and da 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 and then you make your 10k a month and blah, 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 blah. The thing is, like, maybe I've got the wrong mindset, but I couldn't just gruelingly do that for months and months and months and months and months if, if I just don't give a shit, if I don't like the process, I don't care, you know. I write philosophy and I make music because that's why I get up in the morning, not because, you know, I have to do an uh, agency marketing company to be successful. No. So, step one, very long point. That's step one, okay? You need to know in your heart what it is to do. And then two is refine, 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 consistency, consistency schedule, discipline, body, body, blah, all of that. You just gotta keep coming back, coming back, coming back, coming back, okay? Even if you love something, it's still gonna be a bit of a grind, you know? I love playing music every day. I play music every day. But there are some days where it's not as magical as the others. But I still show up because I know in the bigger picture, 
this is what I care about the most and it's about having that bigger picture mindset okay because we have a lot of feelings and they can sort of well people let that um, sway their consciousness but if you go back to your conscious feeling and say okay I'm a bit tired today um, you know this and that blah 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 but I know I need to play music I know I love playing music so I'm going to play music you know that sort of process okay it's the same spiel that is said but it's said for a reason that that's your refinement that's your discipline process okay that's that what do you want to do do it okay and then step three there will come a point where it's muscle memory and you've just got a little bit more room you've got a tiny bit more room and eventually one day you could be doing loads of things, you know. One day I want to have a garden. I want to have animals. I uh, I want to mess around with painting. Um, there's, you know, I can't think of them right now, but I know there's more things I want to do, but I don't do them now because I pick what's most important. And that's something I missed from step one as well, like a extra bit is what is most important. That's what you've got to decide between. We're human. I know there's a lot of, you know, strip everything back. Blah, 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 and I agree with that in the sense of, you know, get rid of the bullshit from your life and work very hard. But you can only do so much, as we're discussing here, okay? You can only push yourself so far. Going back to the ego, you will watch these people... And it will make you angry because of how much they do and you will try and do it all and then you'll feel really shitty you're not there yet. And you've got to remember that this is a slow game and that you will get really good results quickly. You'll continue getting linear results your whole life if you're just open. But it's not going to come all at once and you're going to have to be patient. To this day, I'm still impatient. I'm still furious every fucking day. I have to go up and go to some bullshitty job that I don't care about. And there's this and that reason why it's this and that. And yes, everyone's got to work and I'm willing to work, but it's not a purposeful job that serves the community. It is something just to put money in my pocket so I can afford my organic food that doesn't have pesticides in it. But I don't let that get to me. I just realise I've made a lot of progress. I examine what progress I've made and what progress, how much more progress I've got left to make you know I'm 22 years old and then yeah keep coming back there's a few other things you know to refine a part of that refinement process is to journal to yourself every day without fail and now there's something I do is deep journal and talk to myself in my journal and about you know passions how I'm feeling and the direction and things like that and this really helps you clear the bullshit in your mind and get you on the path you need to be whatever that is whatever that looks for you how conscious it is or how chaotic it is okay or somewhere in the middle that is probably one of the most useful tools I've ever had because when I get in states like this where I would call it, I don't know, you know, there's all sorts of labels and words and you know, neurodivergent burnout and overstimulation. And although I like these labels and I think they have a meaning, like it is excuses for people to box themselves and to get out of the hard work. Anyway, this has been the biggest impact on getting through these, feeling through them and fucking going further beyond and being better than before rather than wallowing in some self-pity you know like i appreciate that life is hard i find life hard but you play the game or you give up i don't know i think the game's pretty fun i think there's you know there's lots of good shit to do there's good people to see there's something for me to offer there's something for you to offer and it wouldn't be worth it if it wasn't difficult. If it was easy, we would all be bored and we would all be, you know, well, it wouldn't be very interesting, I don't think.
this is an overarching really point in general is to keep things simple keep things simple add a bit more add a bit more you know have high opinion of yourself have a healthy ego push yourself but you cannot do everything no one wants to be the jack of all trades I mean maybe that's just me but I know what I want to do I know there's a few pursuits but if, unfortunately well I wouldn't call it unfortunately some people would but anyway you can only do so much pick your battles wisely rest when you need to reflect and then come back and come back and come back and then one day you'll be dead anyway and that that was that